Hello student, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about some questions based on distance formula. So as in the last lecture, we have discussed about how to find a distance between two given points. So now we will, uh, this lecture will be the application of the previous lecture. So how distance formula is usable or useful to find out the questions. So let me first uh, write down the distance formula for point P, x1, y1, z1 coordinates are given and point Q, x2, y2, z2 so that this uh, distance formula will be clear to you again. Okay. So the formula goes like this x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square okay so now i am writing the question student so student here is the question given to us in which we need to show that the points p q r are collinear so what this collinearity means means they are lying in a single line so let's say p q r are collinear means so to prove the collinearity, it should be PQ plus QR should be equals to PR. Okay, if they are lying in the one single line. Okay, so first we will find out the distance PQ. Okay, so to find out the distance PQ, it will be x2 minus x1. The formula is written above here. Okay, so 1 minus minus 2 is 3 square plus 2 minus 3 is 2 minus 3 okay 3 minus 5 so this will be 3 square plus 1 square plus 2 square that will be 9 plus 5 root 14 okay now q1 okay so to find out the distance between points q and point r that will be 7 minus 1 this is 6 square plus 0 minus 2 that will be minus 2 square uh, minus 1 minus 3 that would be minus 4 square so it would be 36 plus 4 plus 16 so that would make it to root 56 or you can say 2 root 14 now we will find out PR okay so this is PR student here is point P, here is point R. 7 minus 2 minus minus 2 is 9 square. 0 minus 3 is minus 3 square. Plus minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 square. Okay. So it is uh, 81 plus 9 plus 36. That is coming out to be 90 plus 36 is 126 root. Okay. So it is coming out to be 3 root 14. So as you can see directly that pq plus qr so pq plus qr is equals to pr so we can say directly so hence pqr are collinear okay this is what we need to prove okay students i hope that this is pretty clear to you now let's move to another question so students, what we need to find out here is, are the points A given to us, B is also given to us and the C, are the vertices of a right angle triangle. So these three points, if they are the vertices of a right angle triangle, the property of Pythagoras should hold true. I put in a square is equals to base square plus Pythagoras uh, plus perpendicular square. Okay, so first we will find out all the distance. Let's say what is AB. So AB is 10 minus 3. I will use the di distance formula now directly 10 minus 3 square plus 20 minus 6 square. Okay, plus 30 minus 9. This is 21 square. So now I need to find out the square again. So I am directly doing it here. So that will be equal to student 686. AB square is 686. Now let us find out BC square. 
so what uh, b c square is student b c minus b that is 15 square minus 41 minus 20 this is 61 square plus 5 minus 30 which is 25 square minus 25 is 25 square okay so this is coming out to be student 4 5 7 1 okay so this is bc square now let let us find out ca ca square is c a minus c that would be 3 minus 25 that is 22 square 6 minus minus 41 that will be 47 square plus 9 minus 5 that would make it to 4 square so it is 2709 so if we check that ab square plus ac square or it can be like this a a b square so this is b c a a b square plus a c square a b square plus c a square is not equals to b c square so hence it is not a right angled triangle okay students so this is what we need to prove whether it is a right angle triangle or not okay so which we stated that as it is not a right angle triangle okay students now i hope that you guys can easily solve the questions based on distance formula and in the next lecture student we will discuss another formula which is known as section formula okay so stay tuned for that lecture